Hello GHS, I'm Sarah. And I'm Ty, and this is the news for March 12th. Softball plays at Denville West on Monday, the game starts at 5, and then they play Pottsville at Pottsville on Tuesday, the game starts at 4.30. On Tuesday, the baseball team plays Salisaw at home, and on Thursday, we play Shiloh at home, and on Friday, we play Gentry at Gentry. All games start at 5. Come support the Lions baseball and softball. For lunch next week, we'll have Frito Chili Pie on Monday, Pork Roast on Tuesday, Chicken Spaghetti on Wednesday, Turkey and Cheese Croissant on Thursday, and a Chicken Patty Sandwich on Friday. Today, we're continuing our series on local businesses. Last week, we had the privilege of stopping by Flyer Coffee to get an iced caramel latte, and we got to know them a little bit. Last week, we had the privilege of stopping by Flyer Coffee and getting to know a little bit about their small business. The story of Flyer Coffee starts in California. The owners moved to Gravit because they had family close by. They say business is a little slow, but they're doing enough to stay open. They hope to attract more people. The owners want to be part of the community, and they hope to expand and provide a community kitchen for Gravit. These small businesses are trying their best to stay open. Please support your local businesses and stop by Flyer Coffee and pick up a coffee. I definitely recommend. You can find Flyer Coffee on Main Street here in Gravit. This year, due to COVID, all of our student activities look a little different. Here is Shania to show us how ACE competitions are working this year. ACE stands for Academic Competition and Education. Just like every other club in our school, ACE said that to do some things differently this year due to COVID. Students study assigned chapters from College Love textbooks and various subjects. The team plays four head-to-head -head matches against area schools. These competitions test which team remembers the most of their study material. The final championship team will be based on cumulative points earned in head-to-head -head matches. Students have the opportunity to earn scholarship money based on their team's final place in the competition. Last year, the ACE team didn't place in the top three, but they have started out well this season, and they have one more match left to play. Because of COVID-19, the matches are entirely virtual this year, and rather than playing two other teams at once, they're competing head-to-head. -head. The format and method for preparation hasn't changed much other than that they don't get to travel to area schools to compete. If you are interested in ACE, please contact Ms. Bassing. Have a great day. Thank you, Shania. That's all for this week. I'm Ty. And I'm Sarah. And, and we'll, we'll see you next week. week.